selling a can of care. We out of the shop this morning. Think of my golf cart for a spin. And what this is, is a 2006 Easy Go TXT. And it used to be electric. But as you can clearly hear, it is no longer electric. I have uh, converted it to gas powered. I'm running a Predator 420cc motor. But I've made it that to a four-speed VW transaxle. As you can see down here, I have three pedals. I have a gear shifter. This thing drives like a regular, regular car. So driving on these car paths, it's actually really fun. And having a cart that you can shift makes it even more fun. Why don't we take it back to the shop and take a closer look at it? Let's do that. All right, back from a ride, back to the shop, and uh, here is the golf cart. And uh, as you can see, it has been modified, but it doesn't look too modified. In other words, I wanted to keep it relatively stock looking. All of the plastic, uh, the bodywork on it is pretty much stock. Um, what I've done as far as the overall configuration is uh, I did cut the frame right down the middle, added six inches. And what that gave me is more leg room for me to drop my seat down. And I don't know if you can see, but the seat is about six inches lower. So I dropped the seat down, lengthened the frame, and then the steering right here is I flipped it upside down. So instead of sticking up like this, it's laid flat like that. So you sit in it like a car. So your feet are in front of you and the steering wheel's in front of you. So having, having uh, the driver position lower and uh, having your feet forward uh, lowers the center gravity of the cart and gives you a little bit more sporty of a riding position. And that's kind of what I was going for with this. So I really didn't want a lifted golf cart. I didn't want something really tall, really top heavy. Um, I wanted something quick. I wanted something that could handle I wanted something that uh, had good brakes, but it didn't look overly modified. Um, and I think, I think I got that here. Let me show you this back part here. Um, this actually was, it took a while to figure this out because I wanted a rear deck to store stuff on that was really low, um, but I also wanted a jump seat so I can carry at the time when I built this, my two kids would fit there, but they don't fit there now. Uh, they're too big. Um, and I got additional storage, you know, underneath there uh, for putting stuff. And then I got a little, little box there with a, with a ratchet strap. Um, so anyway, I got uh, going to the store. I could put stuff in my little container there. Or I usually put tools or ropes or something there. I have a custom independent front suspension. The subframe here I had to make to graft onto the frame. The easy goes don't have any, essentially any frame up front. Uh, so I had to make that uh, coilover shocks up front and the uh, A-arms and the uh, A-arms and the shocks are off kind of an off-road buggy. Uh, I believe the make is a, a candy or something like that. Uh, these rotors are off a 94 Toyota Tercel with a Willwood caliper in there. And they're welded to stock, I should probably get a flashlight or something. These are stock easy go spindles right there. So I welded on a bracket and the mount's right there. Um, and then I had to modify the rotor to slip over the, uh, the spindle, the flange there. Um, but that's on the front and then on the back, again, a little bit different rotors, they're a little bit smaller on the back still. Uh, Willwood caliper there, 
um, but these are just out of the Summit catalog. I just got some that had the right bolt holes and a, enough dish uh, to work with my bearings back there. Um, but anyway, a cart with four wheel disc brakes, four wheel independent suspension, and everything on it's hydraulic. Hydraulic brakes, hydraulic clutch on that. Uh, all right, here is the motor. I got the seat removed. And uh, you can see it's 90 degrees to what you would expect it to be if, if this was a, a gas golf cart. Um, I've added a GM one wire alternator to it. This carburetor is off a, I believe a 28 horsepower outboard motor that was given to me. So I made the intake manifold to adapt to it. The motor is a Predator 420cc motor from Harbor Freight. Uh, it does have a billet connecting rod in it. I machined the head 50,000, so it's about 10 to 1 compression. Um, and I think everything else on it is, is stock. Um, got a full-size battery to start it. Um, these are my reservoirs for my, my clutch and my brake right there. The two master cylinders are underneath. Uh, you can see my clutch pedal there with my brake and my accelerator. I wanted to keep the brake and the accelerator stock, so have that look. And plus the parker brake still works. Um, so everything is, is four wheel disc brakes. Um, and you can see my proportioning valve uh, is right here. And that's, I believe that's just out of the uh, um, JEGS catalog and a brake switch right there. So it has a full brake system, like a standard car. Um, so this thing really, really stops well. But coming back here, you can see the Volkswagen transaxle, it is flipped backwards. And the nice thing about these transaxles is you can take the ring and pinion out and flip it over. Um, so that means you can turn the transmission around so the motor spins the right way. Um, has the swing arm uh, suspension on it, the swing axle I should say. And then you can see my disc brake. I don't know if you can see with the light, disc brake and my shock down there. Um, I had to take the drive shafts had to shorten them six inches on either side and then I turned them down uh, turned them down to one inch and put a one inch I think that's a one one pitch thread and then put the nut on it and put a keyway so these are uh, go-kart flanges uh, that go on a one inch go-kart axle uh, that hold my my tires on there um, but the whole the whole stance is 12 inches narrower than a Volkswagen bug would be, but it's two inches wider on either side than a factory EasyGo is. Um, got my Dynamax uh, stainless steel exhaust that I, I fabricated myself. Um, and then the shifter is down here. And if you look how there's two push-pull cables coming out, kind of making a V, I have the same setup here. So here's the two cables coming out this way to my shifter. So if I, you know, there's there's fourth gear, there's second gear. So as I move this side to side and back and forth, it transmits that movement this way. So I don't know if you can see that. So there's, there's uh, third gear, fourth gear coming over here. There's first, second, and then reverses all the way over and back like that. So hopefully that comes out in the camera right there. But one of the problems with switching the transmission around is actuating the shifter. Because this shifter is supposed to be pointed straight towards the shifter when it's in a, a Volkswagen Bug. Um, and then I extended the bumper, bumper out here to make room, room for that, uh, that shifter down there. If you want any more detailed videos of kind of how I put this together, how I made it, these two, this motor to this transmission, motor transmission to the golf cart, golf cart brakes, golf cart frame, suspensions, you know, all that I can do. I can do other videos. Just leave a, uh, a comment asking for those and I will do those. Um, but I just wanted to do a general overview of this. Um, so anyway, there is the uh, golf cart and uh, I hope you guys like the video and thank you for watching.